Hello everyone and welcome back to your number one farming uh, YouTube channel and on today's episode I want to talk about the leading cash crop the leading cash crop in Nigeria and their best agroecological zone so uh, if you are somebody who have been looking forward to have your home plantation uh, around cash crop so this video, you'll be learning a whole lot from this video. So the number one crop I will be talking about is cocoa. Cocoa is massive in terms of its export value. It's a crop you can go into and you'll be rest assured for like four, three, four decades. You'll be smiling to the bank. It's a permanent crop. It's a generational investment. So and it's the leading exporting crop in Nigeria and this is due to, this is due to the fact that uh, we don't have processing companies for cocoa in Nigeria we don't have chocolate company so it's a very very sad scenario we produce cocoa a lot in Nigeria and we have to export it to developed countries and they will sell coconut uh, they will sell chocolate back to us they will sell us back milo they will sell us coconut uh, chocolate candy so it's a very very bad uh, scenario but all in all cocoa is one of the most profitable the most valuable crop as in terms of cash crop you can go into in nigeria and talking about its agroecological zone cocoa will do the best in the rainforest area in nigeria you can plant cocoa in other some other parts of maybe some derived forest but it will do the best in the rainforest in states like osho undo part of Edo and uh, Ogun State. So these are the best places that the cocoa will do massive. The number two crop I'll be talking about is none other than the golden palm, the oil palm. So oil palm is, unlike other cash crop, oil palm is just like wonderful, as in it's an export crop, it's an oil crop, it's an industrial crop you can get more than 20 products from this crop and all part of it is useful so that's the one thing that sets oil palm apart you can get palm oil palm canel oil the palm canel cake palm stearine the list go on and on so and it's something that you can set up and you can rest your back is not a seasonal crop you keep harvesting every month though it have peak season and low season so the best agroecological zone if you are looking forward to establish an oil palm farm in nigeria uh, is south south southeast southwest and some parts of the middle belt of nigeria uh, oil palm can be grown in over 21 states in nigeria but anywhere above kaduna state it's not advisable to do oil palm production there because it requires a place there is where there is ample amount of rain and ample amount of sunshine so that is that about palm. so the number three crop i'll be talking about is the coconut palm Coconut palm is another wonderful crop. Uh, it's a family of the oil palm. It's a family of the palm. And it's also a massive international crop with so much uh, product attached to it and very, very high export value. So um, you can get so many products from it. You can get the coconut oil, the coconut milk, the coconut water, the coconut uh, cocoa peat that is being used in growing uh, seedling in greenhouse. You can get a product that is called a brisket, a charcoal from the coconut shell. So it's a very, very fantabulous and wonderful and a crop that can make you rich for generations if properly managed. So uh, the agroecological zone for coconut is the rain, the rain forest belt in Nigeria and particularly the river, uh, the, the coastal area. Those are the places where coconut will do massively well. It will do wonders for you if you do it in 
in, in the coastal area. And that is why uh, Badagri is popularly regarded as the home of coconut in Nigeria. Badagri, places around Badagri, Lagos State, Port Harcourt, and other coastal areas like that. So it doesn't mean you should plant it in a waterlogged environment. I'm talking about coastal areas where you have more than eight months of rain in a year, seven months, eight months, nine months of rain in a year. So that is where you should be looking forward to plant or to establish your coconut farm if you are looking. Next crop on my list is the cashew. Cashew, cashew is another tree crop. It's another cash crop that um, will last generation. Uh, it has a lifespan, productive lifespan of around 30, 35 years. So imagine you having a crop that is giving you millions on an hectare every year for like 30, 35 years. So it's something is a long time investment you can leave behind for your family. And the ecological zone, the agroecological zone for oil palm, oil, uh, for cashew, I mean, excuse me. So cashew can be grown in over 27 states in Nigeria. It can be grown in so many places. But the best place where it will perform optimally best is along the savannah belt in Nigeria. And that is why you see many people will tell you Ogbomosho in Oyo State, Kogi, Kwara State are the best producer of cashew. It's because the condition there is that of savannah area. And that is what cashew wants. So if you want to set up a commercially viable uh, cashew, uh, a commercially viable uh, cashew plantation, you should look around this area. Ubuma, Kwara State, Kogi State, some part of Oyo State, Ubuma Shore, Okugo Axis, then some part Abuja, uh, Abuja Benue. So those are the places where cashew will do massive miracles. Next crop on my list is date palm. Date palm is another wonderful member of the palm family. So, but it's a desert crop. So, it's another, we all know date palm. Date palm is that brown thing we used to buy from the Hausa people in Nigeria. That is very sweet. So, um, it's another crop with high economic value and high export value. So, with with a well-established date palm farm, you can be rest assured of continuous cash flow into your account. As in, this crop can fetch you a fortune over a long period of time. So there's, there's production of a jam from heat. There's production of a kind of honey like this from heat. People who want to stay away from sugar, they use date palm tea. And the seed is being used to produce a kind of tea nowadays. So it's a very, very profitable uh, crop you can start with. But the best agroecological zone for this crop is Jigawa. That is the home of date palm in Nigeria. So if you are looking towards establishing a date palm farm, you have to look towards Jigawa state and states are, are around it because it's an arid crop, it's a desert crop. So that is that about her. So um, next on my list is the shea tree, the tree that produces the shea butter. <laughs> so it's another crop of economic importance of high export value. Um, the shea butter is gaining attention globally for its use in the cosmetic industry. As in, every, there is hardly a cosmetic product you see nowadays that will not have a trace of shea butter in it. And we all know shea butter, the importance of shea butter, as in, it's, it's been regarded as essential oil in the cosmetic industry. It can be eaten also and Talking about the agroecological zone, the agroecological zone for oil palm, uh, for, for shea tree is Niger State, Kwara State, Kogi State. So these three states, if you want to do on a commercial level, if you want to do shea plantation, 
these are the places you should look out for so and also if you want to go into the exporting of shea butter you go into the villages in in Nigeria state Bida or you go into the villages in Kwara state to get your raw and original shea butter that you can export it's a very very lucrative business if next on my list is kola nut kola nut is another crop that have this high industrial value and high export value but there has been kind of negligence on in on on, on our part in nigeria so we've not been having new plantation just like shade tree also so but i can assure you if you can get an improved seedling of kola nut you plant you will be you will be as in people will be coming to you with money exporters because is a major component in producing the use in producing uh, uh, energy drink and all this kind of energy drink and the rest because it contains high level of nicotine so it's you can you can go to the market um, and price how much they are selling cool or not they will give you two pieces they will tell you 200 naira they will give you three pieces 500 naira and a tree can give you a fortune not to talk of if you have it on an hectare so it's another crop you can consider if you want to go into something that will give you a long time end this list without uh, mentioning plantain plantain is another crop uh, though you may you may not agree with me to be a permanent crop but it's a medium term crop which can also be considered as a permanent crop because when you establish your plantain it's continue to sprout though the life the life cycle of a plantain tree is just a year after production you cut it off but that's not all with it it will give you another seedling that will produce again and that will give you another one so the continuation goes on and on plantain farming is another one that you can be rest assured can guarantee you a return on investment for a very long time so and the agroecological zone for for plantain you can plant it in almost all the states in nigeria so far the land is fertile and you have adequate supply of water but the last on my list i'll be talking about two wonderful crops avocado and sop sop avocado is gaining global recognition now as in peer and if you can do has avocado it's just like you are you are having a good mind avocado is as in the rate at which they are looking for avocado in the international market for export purpose is mind-blowing and even the the local market demand nowadays is mind-blowing and the the demand continue to be growing for the past five years now the demand for avocado has been growing as in growing continuously so it's another good mine if you you can look into and if you want to do as avocado and sop sop you'll be looking at the rainforest and some part of the savannah area so south south southeast and southwest these are the places you can do uh has avocado and uh sop sop they are a kind of fruit so uh with this i've come to the end of today's uh topic and i hope you got value one way or the other uh, i look forward to your success story and if you got value from this video kindly give it a like share with your friends and for further inquiry or observation concerning this topic you can drop it in the comment section they will take the conversation from there thank you for your time and see you on my next video Shishi.